is Wendy with Party Cool, and I know it's been a while since we've posted any videos. We've had sickness, we've had events, we've just had all sorts of things going on, but all of that's a little bit behind us, so now maybe we can catch up on some of our videos. We're going to be looking at the October Lit Cube today. Now, last year in October, Lit Cube had sort of a Halloween type themed box and they did it again this year and the theme of the box goes along with one of my very favorite spooky Halloween movies and so I'm going to give you a little quiz right now and see if you can guess which movie it is. I have three quotes from the movie here on the board and I'll go through each of them and then I'll give you just a couple of seconds and then I'll tell you what movie it is. All right, the first quote is, oh, book. And the second quote is, I smell children. And the third quote is, a muck, a muck, a muck. All right, three, two, one. If you love Disney movies, then you know that these quotes are all from the movie Hocus Pocus. And that is the theme of this month's Lit Cube. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. We just watched that movie last week, the whole family. In fact, we like it so much that the girls and I are kind of kicking around the idea of being the Sanderson sisters for Halloween next year. And maybe Steven could even be that Billy zombie guy that they bring up out of the ground because he is really, really funny. All right, let's look at the items that we got in the box. Of course, they always send some kind of little treat for you to enjoy. And appropriate to the month, we've got a little fun size Halloween Kit Kat. And I'm guessing, look at this, this is neat. This is kind of like a Dia del Muerte sort of a deal, like those sugar skull type things. I bet it's some type of mint or something in here. So that's cute, kind of like Halloween trick-or-treating candy. All right, this is a pretty necklace. They call it the Witchy Stone Pendant Necklace. And I can almost wear it with this shirt, except I think it would blend in and you wouldn't really be able to see it. So I probably will wear it with something else. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, these are fun. These are some Hocus Pocus themed stretch bookmarks. Now, I try to go over here with some of the quotes that weren't as obvious because the rest of them on, the really obvious ones are on these bookmarks. Of course, we've got, I put a spell on you. That's a big scene in the movie, a fun scene. And then uh, this one, oh wait, I'm gonna save that one for last. This is just, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And I really like this one. I could just see Bette Midler saying this in my head. Another glorious morning makes me sick. <laughs> Not a morning person that winter for Ed Sanders. And, all right. This is really cute. We've got some mini candy skull wax tarts. And then they also sent a little, they call it the mini witchy aroma burn. Kind of looks to me like those little chimenea things that a lot of people have on their patios and stuff but uh i guess you just put a little candle or something in there and then you can do your wax melts or whatever other kind of aromatherapy you want to do in this little top deal but that i really like this it's a very um it's not bright or anything i kind of like the earth tones Okay, I always feel like I should save the book for last on this box because really that's sort of the whole point of the box. And the book this month is called The Picture of Dulce Garcia. I'll read the back. It says, The Perfect Picture. Amazing airbrushing and a flattering filter and I look like the starlet I've always wanted to be. You know, one of those perfect Instagram models with a million followers. Like one of the girls that Sebastian would date, even though he has never bothered to glance my way. So I utter a foolish wish. If only I could look like my picture forever. But forever is a long time, and some wishes can't be broken. The price of vanity is high, 
and my mad wish may cost me my soul. All right, I'm kind of getting a vibe from this that we might have a little, uh, like the picture of the portrait of Dorian Gray going on in here. This may be a little riff on that story, kind of like a twisted tale kind of a thing with that. It'll be interesting to read it and find out. All right, hope everyone has a great Halloween and we'll see you next time.